Southerner back again with the second unboxing of the two Louis Vuittons that came in yesterday, which was Monday. So they actually did both come in yesterday. I did film a video yesterday of the other one, but um, we have been dealing with a sick cat over the weekend. He was at the emergency vet um, Friday, then I had to take him back again Sunday morning. Um, I think that he's out of the woods. Um, he's home right now. They've got to recheck his blood tomorrow. So we've been pretty preoccupied with that. And uh, so I didn't have time to open this other one. Although it has been a nice distraction from all of that, getting these in the mail. So anyway, I said that I would show you guys the after, after I conditioned this and cleaned. This is the Danube I opened yesterday. After I conditioned it and cleaned all of the hardware. So here's the after. As you can see, the hardware shined up really nicely. The zipper shined up nice. Oh, this is, looks really nice. Um, I'm still really on the fence about whether or not I'm going to keep it. So, but that is what it looks like. It cleaned up nicely. I will be showing y'all sort of some kind of video about how I clean that. I'm not sure how I'm going to set it up yet, but I will definitely do that. Okay, so here's this. Y'all don't look at my funky scissors. There's um, roofing tar on them. Don't ask. Anyway, so this came again from Japan. Let me just pick that up. Hopefully you can't see my address. I'm going to flip that over. This one came in a bag. Okay. Really strong plastic bag. Okay. How do I get it open? I don't want to use the scissors because I don't want to cut it. Well, okay. I guess I'm going to have to. Okay. So this one, I believe I paid... 50 something plus 15 shipping. So I think I ended up paying 76 total for this one. And this is a Vernie. A Vernice, however you want to say it. Came in some kind of a dust baggy thing. Ugh, it smells musty, first of all. First and foremost, I smell the must. But, the bag itself, on the outside, is in really good condition. Really good condition. So, as you guys can see, it does have transfer on it. And I cannot remember, I think the name of this bag is Thompson, the Thompson, but don't quote me on that. So, it does have pink transfer here. Handles are in excellent condition. This leather, I was thinking about also dyeing this. Clearly, I'm going to attempt to dye this for me. And I was going to dye the handles, but the leather on them is beautiful. I mean, this looks like a new bag almost. I mean, it's a, got a slight patina, but wow. Okay, so let's open it up. Now, I, they did show pictures. So it does sound a little, little musty. Um, there, in pictures they showed that the inside was peeling, but I don't see any peeling. So, that's awesome. Maybe that was another listing, but I got confused. Because, literally, I'll try to show you all the inside. Nice blue interior. Literally, the only issue with this bag is this red transfer. And this is another reason why I would never have this, buy this for me new or, um, I mean, first of all, I'm not going to buy, let's be real. I'm not going to buy a brand new Louis Vuitton anyway, because to me with my thrifty self, that is just an ungodly amount of money to spend on a bag. Now to each his own, if you guys have them that you bought new, that's amazing. They obviously will last you a long time if you take care of them, considering the fact that I, right now, I'm using a 26-year-old bag that I've purchased from someone else. So, you know, it is an investment. It is a lifelong investment. But for me, I would be a nervous wreck if I paid that much money for something. 
Um, but I would never buy even used a light vernie bag be for this reason. Or patent leather in general, because really this is just embossed patent leather, I think. I mean, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. So um, I will be attempting to dye this black black, and I definitely will film a, I hate, again, I hate to call it a tutorial because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but um, a, a, something where we, we do it together. I am noticing there's a tiny nick here, which is almost imperceptible. And the piping is in good condition. I mean, the smell, it does have a musty smell, which I've successfully been able to get rid of in every bag I've ever had that had a musty smell. And, yeah, and the transfer. So I'm extremely happy with this. And this is a shoulder bag. Super cute. Right now it is like a light green. And it's a really pretty color. It's just that uh, they have a tendency to get that transfer on. I was gonna see if I could find the date code. I don't know where the date code is in a bag like this. I remember on the listing that they showed the date code, so I know that it is authentic. Plus all of these Japanese sellers, for the most part, as far as I know, their bags are all authenticated before they mail them out and you can pretty much trust that they, because they sell thousands of bags and have like 99.7% positive reviews, they're not gonna jeopardize their business by trying to sell fake ones. And there is a huge luxury purse and luxury good market in Japan. And so these are just, I'm assuming Japanese women's bags that they've gotten rid of for whatever reason, because of transfer or whatever, because people have asked in the past, well, why, why are there so many bags in Japan? They must be fake and coming from China. No, they're coming from women in Japan who like these luxury goods. So, all right, I'm excited about this and also a little bit daunted. I'm just gonna see if I can try it open this up and see exactly. I'm almost positive that I paid $76 for it. And I had been looking for a Vernie's wallet to try to, to do, but I mean, they were going for 60 and $70. So, um, let's see. I paid 56 for it and then shipping was 19. So $75. So I thought that was a really good deal. And I can't wait to show you guys me Hopefully not totally screwing it up. All right, my next video will more than likely be my Thrifty Thursday haul since today is Tuesday. Thus far, I have only found one thing and have not had a chance to go shopping a whole lot uh, because of what's been going on with the cat and I did choose to stay home yesterday and actually clean this Danube purse. So I will be going today and I will be going tomorrow for the manager special day. I'll probably hit all of them. Wednesday's my day off. So um, I hope to have some good stuff by the time I film. But uh, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.